Hey everyone, I'm Leander and welcome to Let's Try Making. Today I'm going to show you how to make an old South African classic called Grimora Dad, which is basically a creamy lemon pudding made from coffee creamer and condensed milk with lemon juice. Let me show you what we're going to do. Now, because this is such a well-loved classic, there are, of course, a myriad different ways that you could potentially make it. This is just one of them, and I'm doing it purely because it's really quick and easy way to do it. So I'm going to be using my food processor, but absolutely you could also use a hand mixer, a stand mixer, or even just a whisk, depending on what you have. Uh, but definitely a bit of machinery never hurts anything, and it'll help to get a really nice, consistent, creamy, smooth texture. So for this recipe, you are going to need 500 milliliters of liquid. This could be chilled water. It could be chilled fruit juice. This is the chilled juice from a tin of peaches because I'm actually making this lemon filling to go into a trifle. So I decanted the liquid from the tin of peaches I'm going to be using and chilled that in the freezer to use. Put that inside your food processor. Next, you are going to need 500 grams of coffee creamer. Oh, and try not to mess as much as I am when you're putting it in and then blitz it up until you get a nice and creamy consistency. Now, once that's well mixed through, you want to add two tins of condensed milk. Uh, usually, I do double the normal quantity, so you can actually half this recipe if you like. However, in this case, <laughs> more is better, right? <laughs> Mix it through well one more time. Now, the next part is a little bit tricky. You need to add lemon juice to thicken up the mixture. So basically, I think it's 150 milliliters on the original recipe. However, I don't like it if it's too lemony because in that case, it's going to dominate the flavor of the trifle that I'm making. So at this point, I urge you to use your own good judgment and add as much as you think is necessary to get it as thick as you like. All right, so that seems to be that. For today, I'm making mine quite thick uh, because I want it to be like a puddingy texture so that it holds up inside the trifle and doesn't mix in together with other things. But if you're using it for some other purpose, it's great if you do it a little bit more runny as well in something like a parfait or something like that. All right, so that is it. The only thing we have left to do is pour it into the dish we want to use to cool it in. Oh, it looks so good. Yum, yum, yum. All right, but of course, we must scrape out the bowl. Nothing should ever be wasted. You know, when it comes to dessert, I really think <laughs> more, more is better. And waste not, want not, you know. Being able to eat something like a sweet is a blessing. So at the end of the day, <laughs> appreciate it. All right, once it's cooled down in the fridge for a couple of hours, if you can wait that long, <laughs> you can do almost anything with it. So try having it on a bit of fruit salad. Um, have it the traditional way as a fridge tart. Basically, all you do is you place some coconut biscuits in a layer on the bottom of a tart dish and then top it off with some of the creamy mixture and eat it once it's cooled in the fridge. Otherwise, you can crush some ginger biscuits or any other biscuits for that matter and layer it in a glass like a parfait with some chilled fruit. Um, whatever you do, write it down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what combinations you guys come up with. I'm going to use this for some trifle I'm going to be making tomorrow. Uh, so please stay tuned for that episode. And before you go, make sure to hit the like button. See you all next time.